Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ bless. This is our segment, 15 Minute with the Captains. Today's topic is all hands on deck. We need all y'all to listen and listen good. Let's start with Matthew 10 and verse 16. The topic that we're addressing right now, we're telling you we need your help. You online watching right now, we need your help. This isn't just... You're going to learn something today and take good notes. The notes you're taking is because you're taking instructions on how we need your help online. So listen good. Let's read this. Matthew 10, verse 16. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Remember, we're the Israelites. We are in a time of where the media is portraying us as a hate organization, which we are not. We care and love our people. And blacks and Hispanics, they are changing. So now the news are painting us as a hate group. So Christ said, I sent you as sheep in the midst of wolves. Come on. Be therefore wise as serpents. So we have to be wise as serpents. And harmless as doves. And harmless as doves. Now let's go to Luke chapter 14 and verse 16. Luke chapter 14 and verse 16. You online, you listening, you driving in the car, you at home, whatever, wherever you are, you at work, you're secretly listening to this right now. We need you to take good notes because this note that you're going to take are instructions. Luke chapter 14 and verse 16. Then said he unto him, a certain man made a great supper and bade many. A certain man made a great supper and bade many. Come on. And sent his servants at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. Come, for all things are now ready. This dinner is now ready. Come on. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. But each one of these that was bidden, they made an excuse on why they couldn't come. Read on. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. Come on. I pray thee, have me excused. Come on. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. Come on. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Come on. So that servant came and shewed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry. So right now, Christ is angry with us. Why do we say that? Because you're going to see what he's saying. Read on. Being angry, said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maim and the halt and the blind. So Christ got upset that there were not enough people at this dinner, at this feast. So he sent out his servants, the messengers, and said, go bring in the maim, the blind, the sick. Come on. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. There's still more room. Read on. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. And compel them to come in that my house may be filled. That's what this is about. We are out here doing God's work so the house of God may be filled. That's why you see us hitting the streets. 
That's why you see us teaching constantly. That's why you see us doing radio shows. We have to fill God's house. That way we can seal the 144,000. Now listen, we have instructions for you. Keep going. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 9. Listen good to this. For I am the least of the apostles mm -hmm. that am not meet to be called an apostle uh -huh. because I persecuted the church of God. Paul said, I'm the least of the apostles. Come on. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Uh -huh. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Uh -huh. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Paul said, I did more work than the rest of the 12 apostles. Come on. Yet not I. But the grace of God, which was with me. Why did he do that? Because Paul knows how much evil he did. We all are guilty of evil. So in your mind, you have to be like Paul. You got to say in your mind, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do the most that I can. So that way I can help bring the nation of Israel together. Now go to Sirach 33 and 17. Sirach chapter 33 and verse 17. Listen good, listen good. Sirach chapter 33 and verse 17. Sirach chapter 33 and verse 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only. For the work that we're doing, it's not for ourselves only, come on. But for all them that seek learning. But for all them that seek learning, but for all them that seek learning. Now go to Acts chapter two and verse 46. Acts chapter two and verse 46. Listen good to this. Listen good to this. Acts chapter two, verse 46. As we continue to do God's work, this is what the most high God is going to do for us. He's going to bless us with what? Watch this. Acts two, verse 46. Acts chapter two and verse 46. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple. They congregated continually. Come on. And breaking bread from house to house. They fellowshiped continually. Come on. Did eat their meat with gladness and signalness of heart. Come on. Now watch this. Verse 47. Praising God. Uh-huh. And having favor with all the people. Uh-huh. And the Lord added to the church daily. And the Lord added to the church daily. Daily. Believers came in every day. Why? Because they consistently did the work. That was everybody putting in the work. Keep going. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Now, last scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 1. This is the last Deuteronomy 32 verse 1. This is a prophecy. And we are in the midst of this prophecy right now. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 1. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. The Bible says my doctrine shall drop as rain. Come on. My speech shall distill as the dew. My speech shall distill as the dew. Where does rain cover? The whole earth. Rain covers everywhere. God says, my doctrine, it will be like the rain. Come on. As the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Uh -huh. Watch this verse three. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. That's what you see us doing. That's what you see us doing. We are publishing the name of the Lord. We're declaring it throughout the earth. And we are barely fully touching the whole Western Hemisphere. We still got more ground to cover. And we're going to move, as you see, we're moving to the East. But you online, we need your help. Finish verse 3. Ascribe ye greatness. No, verse 3. Verse 3. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Uh huh. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. And it says, Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Now, you at home, you at home listening right now. We, Israel United in Christ, have a social media page. Every camp location has one. We have Instagram. A lot of us have Twitter, 
and a lot of us have Facebook. On our main Instagram page, Israel United in Christ, we currently have 13,900 followers. That's not enough. A lot of you listening right now, you haven't even subscribed to our Instagram page. We need you at home to subscribe to our Instagram page. We should easily, easily, we should have been at a million. Because if you compile all of our YouTube channels together, we've hit over a million views. But you at home, continually on our Instagram page, we post updates of what we're doing. 13,000 is not enough. You need to subscribe. We need to be at 50,000. You can easily subscribe and you can share it. Share it with your family. Even though you, a lot of you at home, you're saying, you know what, but I don't know the scriptures that well. But you can share it. You can still do your part. You can still share the gospel. You can share the good news of what we're doing at home. Subscribe to our Instagram page, Israel United in Christ. On our Twitter page, we have two. At Elder Nathaniel, which is one of our Twitter pages, the hashtag at Elder Nathaniel. There's 3,990 followers. That's not enough. That's not enough. Another Twitter page that we have, hashtag at Israel Unite, is 3,380 followers. That is not enough. Why are those numbers so low? We need you to follow us on our Twitter page. We need you to share our information on our Twitter page, on our Facebook page. We have 38,487 likes. That's not enough. We have 45,396 followers. That's not enough. We need these numbers to be in the hundreds of thousands. But guess what? We can only do it with your help. By sharing it. Remember what Deuteronomy 32 said. The doctrine shall drop as rain. Part of that is you assisting the prophets of God. Now that's just social media. Next. Some of you, a lot of you, come out of the Christian church. You know we have a church ministry where we go and do seminars to churches. Now remember, when you go to our page right now, I want you to think. Think about the friends that you have at the church. Think about the relationships that you've built with some of these individuals at the church. You don't think it's possible that you could get us into these churches doing a seminar? You know you can, but you're afraid. Don't be afraid. That good relation you have, speak to them. And convince them. Matter of fact, let's do get one more scripture. Titus chapter 1 and verse 9, I believe it is. As right now, we're giving you the list of instructions on how we want you to help. That's why we call this all hands on deck. We're not saying, oh, you don't have rank with no. And we need all of you listening. We need your help. If you want to be delivered, if you're tired of your people, of our people being oppressed, we need your help in assisting us in the work. Listen to this, Titus 1 and 9. Titus chapter 1 and verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. You have to learn how to convince some people. Talk to them, convince them why you believe is united in Christ will make an impact on that church. We can easily come there and give a seminar about history about how to love fathers, how to love mothers, how to love children, how to love your family, how to raise your family, how to love your neighbor. We can give these seminars, the true origins of Christmas. You can help us. And guess what? Whatever state you're in right now, you're thinking, you know what? I do know somebody. I can help them. Whatever state you're in, you go on IsraelUnite.org, www.IsraelUnite.org. You go to contact us. Go to our list of schools where it says located school near you. You go to that page. You call us and you say, hey, here's how I can assist. Do you have a pen and a paper? Do you have a pen and paper? Please write this down because I know somebody how they can help get you into a church to do a seminar. In the jails. We're currently going to jails. Help us. Help us get in and do these seminars. Community outreach. You see we're already doing IUIC missing persons. You see us doing our activism every day. Some camps are doing 30 days of camps. Some camps, of course, all of us are going every Saturday, uh, Lord's will, weather permits. But guess what? You can help us get into community centers. You can help us get into libraries. You can help us get into many different venues where we can teach this gospel. So think about again, 
Go to IsraelUnite.org. Locate us. You call the lo the nearest school. You call or email, and you let them know how you can put your brick to help us build. Next, financial support. Donate. Some of you watching right now online, you may be a political figure and you cannot be seen helping us, but you can give an anonymous donation. Remember, donate to our uh, PayPal, Israel at IsraelUnite.org. All of these things that we're listening, that we just listed to you, are instructions on how you can help put your brick in until we meet you in person. But for whatever reason why you can't fellowship, you can do the work. But remember, God tells you to fellowship. But in, to, uh, in that interim, you can still put your brick in. One more scripture. Let's get it in Peter's about spiritual house. Get that scripture in Peter's about spiritual house. Built up a spiritual house. I believe it's 1 Peter's 2. 1 Peter's 2. And I believe it is verse 7. Verse 5? Yeah, 5. Okay, okay, read that. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. Do you see that? Do you listening online, do you hear that? Are you reading? It says we are built up a spiritual house. Don't you want to be a part of that? Don't you want to be able to say, I put my brick in? I may not be on the level of some of these men. I may not have the energy. I may not have the young age. I may not have the time, but I did assist them. Because guess what? Part of assisting us is networking. Networking. We have to network to make sure everybody hears this gospel. Follow us on Twitter. Share the Twitter feeds. Follow us on Instagram. Share our Instagram. Promote our Instagram. Promote our Facebook. We need to cover the world. We need to cover from the west to the east. Read that again. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So you listening at home, we hope this was edifying to you and we hope to have the calls ringing. We hope to have the emails flooded. Assist us in building the nation of Israel so we may be delivered. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.